an educator and I have been teaching for the past 55 years. You know, I started teaching when I was 20, so I'm 75 now. So education is really so pivotal to my professional life. The empirical evidence suggests to us that effective learning happens on the basis of two factors. First, the mastery of the subject matter by the teacher, and two, a fairly high level of motivation by the student, and they are interacting. Therefore, if you want to do any policy changes, that means you pay attention and you invest on the teacher. Do not invest on air-conditioned rooms, you know, classrooms, etc. Because these things can happen even under the papaya tree. But if the teacher is bobo, no learning happens. So that means if you have limited num um, number of pesos, put it on the training of teachers. Okay, the other part, and I was triggered by the question of uh, Dante here, is yes, a legislation which is going through the legislative mill in regard to empowering the CHED. Why in heaven's name did we divide our education system into a DepEd, K-12, you know, a CHED, and kung bobo ka, diyan ka na lang sa Voktek, ha? No? I remember, you know, ang uncle ko sabi niya dun sa isang bobo kong pinsan, ay, nako kasi, mahina naman ulo mo, mag-teacher ka na lang kaya, o mag-military. Oh my God! <laughs> yung, yung bobo yung gagawing teacher, no? So, you know, education is so pivotal to the life of our nation. So, you as chief executives, um, I would plead that you pay attention to empirical evidence. The critical variable for effective learning to happen is to invest on the teacher. Thank you. Thank you.